Hi everyone. This may seem like a stupid question, but I hear it so often and I, I just want to get through actually the principles. But people see, for example, these two guys and both of them give you Wi-Fi and they wonder, this guy here is an LTE router, this guy here is just a Wi-Fi access point. And people sort of wonder, where's the internet coming from? What is happening? How's this? How can I see whether this one is the one and this one is the other? So let me just start off with explaining the principle. So at some point, we've got the internet. Okay. The, in other words, we need internet. Okay. And I'll explain where that comes from. And then what we need, this is normally ethernet. Okay. A data cable. Um, and here, at some point, we need Wi-Fi. Just because, and this is Wi-Fi. And that could have two external things. It could have four. It could even have six. And sometimes it could have nothing. They sit inside here, okay, inside the box. So this guy here, Wi-Fi, is your hotspot. This does never give you the internet. Okay, Wi-Fi can't get you the internet. Internet needs to come from somewhere. So it needs something to provide it the internet. Now on this side here, you could have a, an LTE router separately, router, or you could have ADSL, the modem. The default ADSL, that is actually LTE modem ADSL. Modem, good old days, you could even have a telephone modem, but I won't go back that far. You could have a fiber modem. And typically, out of all of them, if you go look, let me just show you back, out of all of them comes Ethernet, there's some normal Ethernet cable, and you would plug it into the, the WAN input. In other words, your Wi-Fi needs to get the WAN, meaning the WAN is actually the internet. It needs to get that, and then it will redistribute it locally. Okay? So it needs to get it from one of these. There could also be a cable modem, there's various forms. Now, typically this would be a modem, and you ask, that would be a modem in itself. You will see the thing going out, and it will go out then to just a pure Wi-Fi hotspot guy like this. Okay? Uh, the reason why I say it's pure Wi-Fi is it is, um, but yeah, it's got two antennas. They are Wi-Fi antennas. I can't screw them off, which is fine, but they must always screw off if it's your internet capture device. And you can see even here, by the way, it will give you Wi-Fi, but you can also plug in cable and go put it to another Wi-Fi router. In my house, I struggle, so I've got three. I would take this guy and get it to another Wi-Fi because it doesn't cover the whole house. Okay. And so you can get it from various points. Now, if I look at this guy here, all we've done with, mostly with LTE routers, I've heard lately someone is doing it with fiber as well, is we actually put them in one box. So we put that guy in the box, and we put, so this guy, is, this guy here has got two radios, if you want to put it like that, inside this box, okay? And the one is pulling, or sucking the internet, okay? And this guy here, by the way, if you take off its antennas, how do you know whether it's a Wi-Fi antenna or whether it's a LTE antenna? A clever way is that you look at the sex of the connector. Explained many other places, show for kids as well, so I'm not going to explain it here. But this is a, a male, a female connector, normal connector. If you take off a Wi-Fi antenna, this guy here takes four LTE, in other words, four by four MIMA really 5G device and these devices here are SMA female which is your normal LTE connectors they must always go to an outdoor antenna otherwise you won't get that internet so nicely but here is Wi-Fi, the two, the two ones on the side and if you go look very carefully at this guy here you'll see that this guy is actually a male SMA or it's a reverse polarity, it's actually a bit of a transvestite SMA connector but they are always virtually used for Wi-Fi antennas and there you typically don't need to use an antenna except if this car is going to be a router going over a warehouse you can put Wi-Fi antennas on as well so inside here there's a little call it Ethernet connection so that will be your Wi-Fi that will be say LTE, 4G, whatever all the different names and that guy will like I say get it sorry this guy now here would of course have antenna connectors hopefully and it will have one of Poitix antennas sitting here connected to it like an X-Pole or something. So it will have an antenna 
Our goal is to get the internet. Its job is to get the internet, which is why it connected outdoors and use our antennas. I promise you, very, very large difference in the internet you're going to get. But now you want to give it to the poor people in the house. People have gone so you. So we all, we all sign in on our Wi-Fi. We don't know where the internet is always coming from. In this case, it's coming from the air. So you need to put the antenna outdoors to get the LTE. And then the inside, the reason why you don't see, okay, one of my aerials off. Why don't we see the Wi-Fi antennas? The Wi-Fi antennas are actually internal to this box. Okay. So they're sitting in there and that's how I get it. I hope this clears up a lot of mysteries to people. So always remember, you need something to get you the internet. Hopefully, many people starting to use 5G, etc. And then you need something to provide the household or the inside people a Wi-Fi access because we all know how to connect to Wi-Fi. We've, by the way, this guy here even has got Ethernet. Okay, that's not for inputting. That's not for sucking the internet. That is now if you want to put distribution in the office or put other. Now I can put this guy here, but it's now sitting in my pantry, like in my house. It doesn't cover my bedroom. So I take an Ethernet cable, and on the other side, I no longer need a, a internet connection. It's coming via this one, and this one gives me additional coverage in my house. So you can add more Wi-Fi points. And that's why all of them still have additional Ethernet ports that you can use.